Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Core Keeper, another episode of my Let's Play series. Today, we are going to go back down to the uh, clay area, I think it was called. Uh, we're going to farm up some more tin, because we need tin for... We got some new tools, we got a new weapon, we got new crafting tables, got a fishing line, fishing rod, I guess. Uh, but it all needs tin. Um, let's just take a look at our farm here, nothing is grown yet. Everything has been watered. Okay. All right. So let's go. We are going to make our way all the way down there. It is quite a trip. I'm going to try to see if I can make it a little more efficient um, as we go, like a more direct route whenever possible. So like right here, let's dig through here. So we can come down this way. Which way do we want to go? Do we want this way? No. This way. And then down here. Just trying to think what's the best way, the most direct route that I can kind of improve. Oh, and somebody also had the comment, uh, you notice I don't have torches on my hotbar anymore. If you use uh, left shift, you, you, you put your torch in your hand like that, right? So I can go down here and then across. Yeah, let's, well, there's enemies here though. Ow. Rude. Well, one enemy. <laughs> Um, why does it show that I have a tunnel here? Like, the mini-map shows I have a tunnel here, but there's not actually a tunnel. <laughs> I mean, I can make a tunnel, which is what I'm doing. Oh, I made a tunnel and I didn't put any torches in it. <laughs> Apparently. At some point. That sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not surprising. In the least. No, that's fine. All right, now let's go this way through here. Just like I said, just trying to make a nice direct path so I can I can get down here quickly and easily because I'm going to need to come down here a lot, right? In theory, because I need a lot of tin, I think. Now we got a workbench there in case we need it. And I did make a uh, second pick. So if my first one breaks, I don't have to leave, right? I can stay and continue to farm tin. All right, so... Probably don't want to go this way. Yeah, I, I definitely need a tin pickaxe, right? Because look how long it takes me to, to get through that, right? Oh, there's some, a berry. I will take that. I think it gave me a seed too, which is nice. All right, so I need to find some sparklies. Um, what am I doing for wood? Let's grab some wood here. And, okay, so now there's no light. But there's one way to solve that problem. All right, so I don't see any sparkles. Let's just dig. Problem with this, of course, is it takes like what? Four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it takes four shots. All right, we got a new talent point available in mining. Definitely going to spend that. All right, so we still can't take either of these, so we must have to put all five in this first. So that's just extra mining damage. Okay, so we're at 8% now. Next point is 10 I should eat something. I agree. I should eat something. So let's eat uh, some mushy mushroom soup. Go in the hopper, I guess. To eat quickly, more quickly and easily. Okay. And should probably put some torches down here, Looch. I am not seeing any sparklies, though. Which is very sad. Because <laughs> I do need a lot of tin. I mean, we're going to do... Oh, there's some, finally. We're going to do the tin pickaxe first. We're going to prioritize that so that we can come back and then more efficiently get more tin, right? Looks like there's some sparkles over there, too. And right here. Okay, all kinds of sparkles, finally. Some torches down. Oh, it opens up, too. Anything scary, I wonder? All right, um, let's go for probably this one first. Come on, baby. Lots of tin. I hope. One tin. Really? One? <laughs> that's disappointing. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? Sometimes you want a bunch of tin and you don't get it. Well, I guess you probably always want a bunch of tin. Sometimes you don't get it, though. That's that's the sometimes. Oh, well, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. We will get, we will get tin eventually. All right, how much tin here? Oh, this isn't tin, this is gold. Crap. 
I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to need gold at some point. But really, one gold, that's it. All right, let's go to this open area. So that we don't have to dig. Hopefully, we can find some sparkles. All right. Grab some wood while we're here. I mean, I have lots of wood, but I feel like you need lots of wood as well, right? All right, so let's throw some torches down. I light my path. There's some tin, hopefully. What's this? Oh, that was tin. Nice. Torch. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're into the tin, folks. Now we're into the tin. And a little bit of gold as well. Okay. Calling that a win. All right, what is this? Oh, that is a berry. And that is a ravine. And that is the same ravine I crossed to get into this biome. Okay. Good to know. Beautiful. How many torches do I left? Lots. But yeah, see, this is why I made two pickaxes, right? My first one just broke. And I would, I would hate to have to go back to base right now, right? That would not be good. I would not be happy about that. All right, so we got eight tin now. Uh, I still want more, though. Sparkles there, but didn't... Uh, there's a sparkle over here that I skipped. Wasn't there? That's pretty far away. Though. Oh, look at that, though. It is far away, but we can get part of the way there without having to dig. What are these? These are little, little chests, right? Oh, I got a cave pouch. What does that do? Um, where's the cave? Right here. Plus five inventory slots. I'll take it. Eventually we can make a better one. But for now, <laughs> I will take that. Is this tin? Nice, this is tin. A lot of tin here. Or a little bit of tin. No, that's, that's a fair amount of tin. I'm pretty... I'm relatively pleased with the amount of tin we got here. And we want to dig up. Get that extra bit of tin. We have... 34 torches left on us. That's not too bad. Our pickaxe is, is getting wearing down here, but it's still, you know, we're not, like, about to have to go back to base. There's more tin out there. There's also tin here, probably. This one looks like a pretty big uh, <laughs> no to tin. We got caveling bread. Plus 36 food. Just food. Let's eat that right now, actually. Because we don't need, we need food right now, our food's low, but we don't need any healing effects or anything, right? So that's the perfect opportunity to eat that cabling bread. How do I make the cabling bread? Can I make the cabling bread? Alright, so what are we looking at here? 18, soon to be 19, 10. That's actually pretty good, if I'm being honest. Is there any close sparkles? I know there was some over this way, but... I'm just looking for close, closer ones that are low effort, right? Like this one's gonna, there's some out there, obviously, but that's a fair amount of digging. But 19 tins is, if I don't get any more, I'm still happy with this excursion, right? But now we're probably gonna end up with more. Can you make, I wonder if you can get better torches later on that light like a bigger area. Why is the whole screen shaking? Oh, what's over there? Is there a boss over there or something? Like, I feel like this cannot be good <laughs> for little Looch in his copper armor. Like, this is not going to end well for me if I stick around. All right, I don't know why I continue to dig up. There's no more tin there. All right, so that's 21 tin. Um, let's just kind of head back up this way. Maybe dig out to that tin. I keep calling it tin. I guess it could be gold. I'm just assuming it's tin, which... Probably a mistake. But hey, gold is okay. I don't have a use for gold yet, but I'm, I'm going to assume that, that there is a use for gold eventually. But there's a lot of digging in this game. If you, if, you like, if you don't like digging, this is not the game for you. Oh, there's an open area up there. So let's... We'll, get, we'll come here. We'll go north. We'll get the stuff up here. In that open area. The wood and everything here. And then we will likely head home. 
Oh, what did we get there? What was that? Oh, scrap parts. Nice. That's good, actually. We can never have too many scrap parts. And soon we will have a fishing rod. We will be able to come back and fish up these all these little fishing spots that we can't do anything with right now. So I just built a bridge across. Instead of digging a whole bunch. Where am I? Yeah, I should probably just build a bridge. Like so. Alright, now we got a nice easy path home. Alright, is there any easy tin I missed here? Because I kind of skipped around a bit, right? Uh, I think I got it all. All the easy stuff anyway. Or convenient. Easy is relative. Should I harvest out there? Oh no, we can't. We can't harvest. We can build a bridge out here. This isn't... Uh, yeah, let's build a bridge. Let's see what's out here. And then we get a mine again, I think. Oh, I did not mean to pick up that bridge. <laughs> Alright, so where am I here? Is this somewhere I've been before? Probably should have put some torches down. Uh, let's replace this bridge, too, in case I want to use it again. <laughs> no, this is not somewhere I've been before. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's kind of head back here. We'll head in the direction of home. Because uh, my pick is actually almost broke. But it's much easier to dig through this, right? Because we are not in the clay area anymore. We're in the normal area. I actually wouldn't mind finding some copper right now. But it looks like that is not meant to be. Oh, well. I just want All right. Homeward bound. Another torch there. All right. Let's come home, repair these. Actually, we are not going to repair these copper pickaxes. We are going to salvage these copper pickaxes because we are now a tin pickaxe uh, wielder, or we will be. Um, okay, so we still go north. These things are not aggro. Perfect. And then through here like this. All right, this is the way home. Yep. All right, cool. That's, that's not a bad trip, honestly. All right, so let's uh, start making some tin bars. All right, so let's, can we take half? Yes, we put half there. In that furnace, put uh, half and half. There we go. So just that'll get us our tin pads. So we less waiting around for tin. We got mechanical parts. We got ancient gemstone. We got some clay walls, some scrap parts. We got our heartberry seed. Got some bomb pepper seeds. Got some glow tulip seeds. So let's go plant our seeds that we just got. And let's harvest what's here. Everything looks to be fully grown. Maybe do a little cooking. Beautiful. Oh, I accidentally picked up a torch there, I think. That's fine. Alright, so we got grub seeds. We got bomb pepper seeds. We got... I don't know where I got that crude bomb, but I have a crude bomb. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of seeds right now, which is a good thing. That's not, certainly not a negative. I might have to do a little digging, though, is all. That's fine. I don't mind doing a little digging. Eh, it'll be close. I'll have close to enough here space for all this. I think. I think I will. I think I'll have enough space. Oh, yeah. We got two spots to spare. All right, where's my watering can? Right here. Oh, probably put that on your hot bar, Looch. Alright, let's water everything up. I'm not sure why the like the clay soil, whatever, is different over here. I guess because it's what was on top, <laughs> it was different. Add water. Fix that up very quick. Alright. Nice. Alright, put you away. And we got a bunch of tin now. Tin pickaxe and tin sword believe should be my priorities right i mean how much have we got we got 24 so the pickaxe is what oh that's only three let's make let's make two tin pickaxes make a tin shovel and a tin sword nice so let's salvage all our copper crap right we don't need it anymore we were 
we're tin we're tin man <laughs> we're the tin man now um is that all we want to salvage yeah so that should give me four scrap parts yep it did indeed all right so let's uh let's organize our hopper put you there you there you there i do have some copper ore on me let's make it that so i got i got eight more tin here what else could do oh we can do the tin anvil but now we are out of tin once again <laughs> So what can we do in the tin anvil? We can do gold, or no, sorry, bronze. So that needs copper, tin, and fiber. But not only does it give more health and armor than what I have, but it also gives plus 5% mining damage. And we got bronze breastplate. Bronze breastplate gives extra melee damage. That's good. Bronze pants. Okay, we need to get this armor. We got a shield. We got a slingshot. Nice. Need three tin bars for that. We got a tin dagger. Small blade that allows for quick stabs. The sword does more damage. But, I mean, you'd have to do the math. 74 to 90 damage, 2.5 per second means you're doing, you know, well, let's say the average, let's say for the sake of argument and even round numbers, that the tin sword does 80 damage on average. I know it's actually a bit higher. So two and a half attacks per second means we're doing 200 damage per second, right? That's the math. Um, and this, it does, what, 67 per hit, roughly? If we do 3.3, it's close to 200 per second damage per second as well. So they're similar. So it's probably, it's just a, a stylistic, I guess, preference. All right, so what do we want to cook here? Um, let's make some of this wrap. Max health and move. Yeah, I like this one. Max health and movement speed and a little bit of a heal. Not too serious, though. So. You know, this is good. I'm, I'm pleased, but yeah, I'm going to have to go get a bunch more. All right, so we got fiber, which is good. So we need a lot of that. And once these are gone, I'll put in the flowers. Get a few more. All right, so let's do a little inventory management here. I should probably organize these chests. Like this one, you know, should be for just specific things. Right now it's kind of chaos, right? I don't really have these chests organized. I'm just trying to find like things and stack them, basically. <laughs> Which, I mean, it works, but it's not ideal. You can go there, you go there. So yeah, so when I go back to mine now, I should be able to mine much faster. Um, gold ore can go in here. Yes. So I've only gotten four gold. Oh, okay. So we had one of those in the other chest. So let's kind of stack those up. This is the problem with my chest not being the least bit organized, right? <laughs> and I do need a couple of these because when this is done, which it is... Let's make a few of these, which does what? 10 food, 4 glow, movement speed. Yeah. No heal, though. Right? So that's it's not my best food. I would say. All right. So I just need to eat something to get my food up right now. All right. So can I, what do I need for the fishing rod? Tin bears. I used all my tin bears. Ooh, I should probably do this. I should probably get this backpack. Now, I already have five extra inventory slots, but this gives ten. Or do I want to do the alchemy table? Painter's table? Iron workbench? Now, we don't have iron yet, so we can't do that one. The railway forge? The carpenter table? But look, I mean, eight tin bears, eight tin bears, ten tin bears, five tin bears, five tin bears. That's a lot of tin bears, right? Four tin bears. Five tin bears. You get the hint. I need a lot more tin, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, I'm going to have to go with more tin, but I don't want this whole episode to just be me getting tin. <laughs> so, uh, what else can I do? I guess I can go try to fight the boss. Um, these still watered? They are. I do have the sword that does a ton more damage, right? 
So yeah, let's go. Let's go try to fight the boss. Screw it. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? We die, right? All right. So we want this food. That's the food we want to eat, right? Primarily, because it gives max health and movement speed. But we also want okay, and this gives extra more health than what we're eating right now. Actually, no, this one. This one's kind of crappy food. That's that's to eat when we just need to eat when we need food, right? Although I would like to get the better armor, but let's see if we can do it with. Uh... Oh, that's good. Just take a bunch of damage from the non-boss. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh well, we can almost die right away. <laughs> yeah, there's too much slime on the ground. <laughs> Clearly, uh, I think I need to I need to eat the food that gives me movement speed right away. As soon as I get there. Otherwise, that's going to happen. Either that or I need to go around with my shovel and clear off all the slime. So both of these give movement speed? No, it's just this one. All right, so how long does this last? A minute. Okay. All right, so let's get our, let's get our corpse. Oh, we still go, the, we still get slowed pretty hard by the slime on the ground though, right? But if we can avoid that. Oh, I missed. He's definitely taking way more damage than he was earlier. Where's he going? Why is he going back this way? Oh, stupid. Okay. Oh, I took a bunch of damage there that I really didn't need to take. So let's pop one of these, get healed up. How much longer do we have the movement speed buff? Okay, so I pulled him too far away, clearly, because he healed there. Okay, I need to eat this. Yikes. Okay, so let's not pull him too far away again. I've done that a couple times now, pull him too far away. All right, I need to eat. Ow. Am I healing slowly right now? Okay, he's going rage modes. So let's eat. Oh, he's almost dead. Get him, get him, Luch, get him. Ah, I don't get hit, though. Got him. Woo, boy, I am almost dead, though. Look how close I am to being dead. Oh, I was close. Oh, wait, am I supposed to hit you? Oh, I can buy and sell. Fiber. I don't have anything. Oh, I can sell them random things. All right, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, wow, a lot of stuff. Get some slime oil. A jar filled with slime essence used for beard care. Place it in a habitable room and a bearded character may move in. Okay, so we can get a dwarf living in our area. A bulbous a glitch eye. It's a bulbous gemstone that fused many slimes together into a giant one. Okay. We got some ancient gemstones. We got a modern shield. Got some slimes. And some more slimes. And some more gemstones. All right. Well, what can I... So, is this the guy that moves in, I assume? If I if I make him a room? Okay, so how much can I sell? I can sell my tombstone for one. All right, so most of this... Oh, this... We're 24. Is that 24 each or the whole stacks were 24? The whole stacks are 24, I'm going to say. There were six each, it appears. Um, I think we can sell that. That's not worth anything. Wood is, wood is actually worth... Okay. So we have no wood now. <laughs> That's okay. So we can buy... Does he just sell one of each? No, he has 10. It even says. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, so we have a bunch of fiber now. Okay. Um, torch. So did this bond respawn? Or does it never come back? We got a cave link skull. That was good. That was a good fight. That was... <laughs> that was tight. Oh, man. I almost died. Oh, that is an angry slime. Oh, wait. The chest is still there. Didn't I clear it out, though? Can I pick it up? Or is there two chests? What's happening? I want to harvest. I want to take the chest home. 
You can't take the chest home, though, apparently. All right, let's heal up. Because I am not full. I need some torches in here. It was bright before. The boss must have lit up the area for me. He lit up my life. <laughs> All right. Success. All right, so I need to build a room. I need to build hab a habitable room. So I need to do some base building. I also need to go get some tin. I believe I'm going to end the episode here. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. But I think I'm going to go tin farming off camera. And then we'll come back and we'll do like base building and more, uh, you know, video worthy things um, on cam. Um, and if anything happens, cool. While I'm out tin farming, obviously we'll show that. But yeah, that's all for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all those. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.